It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Tennessee Titans and the Washington Commanders. And it comes your way next on Madden Football. Just off the Capitol Beltway, due east from the monuments of Washington, D.C., we are counting down a kickoff here just outside our nation's capital. So good to have you with us, Mike Tirico, Greg Olson. Matchup of a couple of teams, Greg, with one big thing in common. A new head coach from a season ago. These are always the seasons we want to see how they play out, how they can implement their plan going in. And more often than not, Mike, as we all know, when you find yourself in position to make a coaching change, it's because the previous few seasons did not go according to plan. So the question is, did they find the right new head coach to lead them in this next era for their organization? These two teams today are hoping that this goes a long way into deciding, do they have the right guy pulling the strings? Because if you do, if you have a head coach and a quarterback, you can win for a long time in this league. Here's Cade York to start the ball game. And off we go from just outside our nation's capital. And a solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. Titans coming out with their quarterback, Will Levis. Good performance last year. Taken early in that second round in the 2023 draft. Greg, this quarterback out of Kentucky could be the future for Tennessee. When you really dive deep and study some of the best quarterbacks, not only in today's game at the moment, Mike, in the NFL, but really throughout history of the league, the best quarterbacks, they hold themselves to a standard that nobody else in the organization could ever hold them to. Anything their coach asks of them, they want to be even better than that. And that's really what makes them special. So we had a chance to talk to him this week. He says, I have to be better. I need to put my team in more positive situations. That's the type of leadership that everybody goes out and tries to seek and bring into their organization at the quarterback position. Now he just needs everyone else around him to try to keep pace. First and 10. Off the play fake, it's Levis. Now, a deep ball here for Ridley. A very quick throw there, but not on the same page with his target. That's incomplete. They told us this week they were going to try to come out fast. Tell you what, that's exactly what they did. Put immediate pressure on this secondary and let them know, hey, all game long today, you better defend every blade of grass because we're coming out firing. And even though that ball falls incomplete, it goes a long way in setting up the rest of this game plan as the game unfolds. Ten yards for number ten on that one, and it's first and ten. Well, there's fast starts, Mike, and then there's this. It just seems like it's completion after completion, and now they find themselves in plus territory. Every team has their fringe red zone down to their red zone plan, and once you cross midfield, you got to be thinking six at the worst three, but you're coming away with points. Anytime the running back is forced to chop his feet in the background and never get to top speed, you know that play's not going anywhere. And that's exactly what the defense was able to force here by getting penetration. Great job there stopping this play before he had a chance to even get started. Throwing on second down, Levis. Now a screen. Here's Pollard. And a good job rallying to the football. Holding just a gain of a yard and sets up third down. Just a little slow developing on that screenplay there. It was pretty obvious to the entire defense exactly what was going on. Nobody was thinking pass. Nobody was getting back into their drops and just nowhere for that back to go. Out of the shotgun, Levis. Oh, what a throw. Slinging it across his body and complete. I think this is one of those plays that when the ball carrier watches this back in the film room tomorrow, He's going to be a little frustrated with himself. If he could just have made that one guy miss, he picks up the first down. Instead, he gets brought down short of the sticks, and now they got a fourth down decision to make. Folks' kick is good, and the Titans will take a 3-0 lead. A lot of times as an offensive player, you come off the field, you're not thrilled to end a drive like this with a field goal. But I think in this case, you can label it a success. You were able to operate your offense. You were able to quiet this crowd just a little bit and come away with an early lead.
three points on that opening drive. We'll see the response as the kick's away. This will be returned from the six. Strong. A very good field position to start as the return is past the 40. The commanders come out with the man they hope leads them into their new era. Jaden Daniels, the number two overall pick in this past draft from LSU. Greg, this is the man who won the Heisman Trophy with the Tigers in Baton Rouge a year ago. Quarterbacks like him are just so hard to defend, Mike, because not only can they beat you with their arm and their ability to process and spread the ball out to the other playmakers, but it's their ability to hurt you when things break down. It's just hard to defend plan B, plan C. You might defend plan A really well, but man, I'll tell you, you just can't simulate his speed in practice. You can't simulate his ability to make guys miss and extend plays. And when that coverage breaks down or that defensive front doesn't get home, he can make you pay in a lot of different ways. They'll come up here on second down and five. They run it once more with Eckler. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. Now after the run, we get a stoppage for an injured player. The training staff going to look, and we'll step out for a moment. Unbalanced look here to the right side on first and ten. They'll throw with Daniels. He's going to run it. Initially, Mike, a really good job by the defense. Nowhere to go with the ball for this quarterback. He's forced to pull it down and turn into a runner. A little slow reaction, and he's able to actually pick up a pretty good game. Here's a second and three forthcoming. Operating from the gun, it's Daniels. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. It's always a risky decision anytime a quarterback tries to force the ball, especially into those tightly contested areas. Not a lot of daylight, not a lot of room for error. In this case, it just falls simply as an incomplete. But as this game unfolds, Better decisions are going to lead to better results. He's got a man. It's McClure. He is in. Terry McClure. Touchdown, Commander. Just a beautiful ball there by the quarterback. And the point I want to make here, Mike, and make sure the viewer understands is in the NFL, if you have to wait for a guy to be open and then deliver the ball, it's too late. So often these quarterbacks throw their guy open. They anticipate where the void in the coverage is going to be. That's exactly the reason this play worked out here, Mike, and he's able to connect here for a big touchdown. On now, Cade York for the point after. It's up and through. And the Commanders move out to a 7-3 lead. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. Spears now to return it. And he'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. Following the kickoff, we have an injured player on the field. So as they look at the injured player, we'll take a timeout.
Here's first and ten. They'll give it to Pollard to start this drive. And he's brought down after a gain of a couple. Look him up on a second down and eight. They'll run once more, and it's Pollard again. 16-yard pickup on that one. That's good for a Titan first down. And a nice pickup there by the back with an explosive run play. And it's important to point out, Mike, his offensive play caller, he's still working off that opening script. It doesn't necessarily have to just be the first possession using formations, using run game and pass. Unmask the defense and understand where to take the play calling as the game unfolds. This play here, Mike, is just all about the get-off of the defensive line. Watch how fast they go when that ball is snapped. Nowhere for this running back except to go down for a loss. Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. From the gun, it's Levis. Now he'll run. Well, that scramble is ultimately going to end up short of the first down, Mike, but it's going to help quite a bit. That's a great job by the quarterback. Just taking what the defense gives you, get downfield, pick up good yardage. Third and a yard. They'll try and run for the first down with Pollard. A gain of 11 on that one. First down for Tennessee. This offense has to be thrilled, Mike, with the success they've had here on the ground in this opening quarter. Now as the rest of the game unfolds, everything in the game plan continues to open up. They'll go back to Pollard on first down. And this time they are ready for him. He'll be thrown for a loss. No big game that carry. It's second down. This is what every defense in the league is shooting for, Mike. Negative plays. That's how you kill drives. Force teams to play from behind the sticks. Great job here. Taking them down for a loss. A second down throw here for Levis. Open man downfield. It's DeAndre Hopkins with the grab. They get an even 20 on that one. That's good for a Titan first down. Throwing is Levis. To the end zone there, but it is incomplete. DeAndre Hopkins was the intended target for that one. And it'll bring up second down. That was a perfectly timed hit, and I think it actually saved six points, Mike. He got there just as the ball did, and I think it was the contact that separated him from the ball. On second down, Levis. And the Titans are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. So as this nice drive continues, Mike, they find themselves first and goal. Offensively, anytime you maintain possession for this long, you have to come away with a touchdown. It feels to me you settle for a field goal. That's a win for the defense. Here's Spears. He'll get this forward. No signal. They're going to mark him down at the one. A little closer. Here's second and goal. They'll look to run with Pollard. Trying to find a crease in there. It's a big pile of bodies. But he is going to come up short. This offense is finding out the hard way, Mike. There is just not a lot of room to operate against this defense down near the goal line. 
They were stopped on second down, now third and goal from the one. On play action, here's Levis. Under pressure, and now he's going to go down back at the eight-yard line. The best thing they did here, Mike, is keep their rush lane integrity. What that means is you have to rush the quarterback as a unit. Keep him in the pocket. Keep him on that X. And when you do, man, he becomes a sit and duck for this pass rush. Nick Folk now on with the field goal unit. This about as short as you can get. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Titans are back within one. It's seven to six. Yeah, he does a nice job handling that kick there. But I think offensively, you come back to the sideline and you're thinking, we have to find a way to finish these drives. I mean, to be in first and goal and settle for three, that can be very deflating for an offense settling for too many field goals. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. This one taken at the seven. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The commander's offense about ready to get going on their second possession. Their lead is just a point as they begin it on this drive with first and ten. Working out of the gun, it's Daniels. Right side, catch made by McLaurin. And he's close to a first down to gain a nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. A good spot here, second and a yard. The RPO, they'll get it to Brown. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield. The timing of these RPO concepts, that's the entire key. Remember, Mike, different than the college game, these offensive linemen, they're blocking for the run. But if that ball gets pulled, the pass option of the play, they're not allowed downfield. In the college game, they get a three-yard window that they're allowed to be downfield even on a forward pass. That's not the rule in the NFL. These decisions have to be made quickly. If not, even after a good pickup, you could be coming back due to a flag. Daniels to throw on second down. Now he takes off. And he'll get this forward for positive yardage as he covers up in the end. Well, give him some credit. Initially, that looked like it was going to be a sack. He's able to escape the pressure and get away. Picks up a little bit of yardage, but at least he avoids taking that shot. What can they do here on third down and seven? From the shotgun, it's Daniels. He'll try to run for it. 10 yards on the scramble there, and he picks up the first down. And here's a great example of why the pass rush on third down, that it's critical it gets home. In this case, they're not able to get to the quarterback. He has extra time to not only escape the pocket, but to turn into a runner and pick up the first down. He'll give it to Eckler on the option. And he'll be taken down, and that's going to do it. That's the last play of the first quarter. One quarter in the books. It's the Commanders with the early lead. It's the NFL on EA Sports. And we're back after this. break the huddle 
Coming up now for first and ten. On the handoff, this is Eckler. A gain of four as he's taken down. Here's a second and six. Again, it's Eckler. He's going to be marked down at the 12-yard line. Nice run there by Eckler, and he continues to be a productive back here in his eighth season in the NFL, and it's one of the main reasons why the commanders targeted him back in March. Down at the 12, it's first and 10. Here's a run with Eckler. And a nice run there. He'll be stopped just shy of a first down. A pickup of nine. When the offense broke the huddle in a line, Mike, I think everybody in the stadium knew this was going to be a run. But the offense is kind of saying, okay, line up. I dare you to try to stop us. And right now, this defense has no answers. They'll look to run with Eckler. And he'll just get up inside those big bodies up front. And he's in. Austin Eckler. Touchdown, Washington. Taking care of business on the ground to get the score. And Greg, the big guys up front, they deserve some praise on that one. Absolutely, Mike. And it really only takes one guy to distort the defense and win his block. But in this case, give credit to the entire unit. They did their job, and they reward their offense with a touchdown. The extra point is good. And the Commanders will take a 14-6 lead. The kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away spears now to return it he'll work his way across the 25 yard line out comes the tennessee offense they get set to see what they can do the deficit is eight as this drive begins with first and ten starts it's a carry by Pollard and not much there he's back to the original line no gain on that one Mike I have to be honest when offenses come up with run play designs blocking the corner is not really a big priority but in this case great job not only forcing it on the outside but defeating the block coming up and making the tackle and keeping it to no gain the tight end Okonkwo is in motion now Levis, and they'll get about eight out of that one, but still a little work to do now on third down. On the ground, it's the tight end. Trying to use that big body to get the yardage, but he is stopped for no gain. On fourth down, they'll turn to Ryan Stonehouse here to punt. The commanders have Jamison Crowder ready to return. Thank you. 
and not much doing there. They made sure he would not get free. Austin Eckler and the rest of the commander's offense back out onto the field. They'll begin inside their own 15-yard line, so a lot of real estate to cover. It's first and 10. Now Daniels. That's taken in. It's Austin Eckler. And he's not going to get too far tackled after a gain of just a yard. Here's a second and nine. Now, whistles here. Looks like one of the defenders got a head start. Play action. Here's Daniels. That one knocked away. It is incomplete. Very good job defensively. Stayed right with him. And will bring up third down. I'll tell you what, Mike. Considering how this offense has played in the first couple possessions, I'm surprised that one wasn't completed. It seems like that's the first miss of the game. Continue to push the ball downfield. Continue to build on this momentum because so far they've come out hot in this one. Uh, nowhere to go. He's going to be taken down. If your quarterback is going to make a habit, Mike, of operating outside the numbers or the outer third of the field, you better neutralize the EMO. So what EMO stands for is the end man on the line. It could be a defensive end, a linebacker, or any walked-up perimeter player who is responsible for setting the edge. You have to get them accounted for, because if not, you better keep your quarterback in the pocket or else you're going to suffer a lot of sacks. So the drive will end there, and on comes Tress Way to punt on fourth down. And back deep for the Titans, it's Mason Kinsey. And he's going to be brought down after a short return, and that's where his team will get possession of the football. The Titans offense getting their final instructions before heading back onto the field. They'll start with great field position, right at midfield with a first down. The motion man is Boyd. Levis to throw it here on first down. And he will not get away. Terrific open field tackle. Gets him down behind the line. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. On the bootleg, it's Levis. Open man downfield, it's Boyd. And they'll move this ball way down into the red zone, inside the 20-yard line. Everyone talks about all the physical qualities to play quarterback in the NFL, Mike, and of course that's a given, but it's really the cerebral approach to the game that separates the best from everybody else. And I think both of those things were on display there, as he did not only a great job of finding the vulnerabilities of the back end, but then once his guy was there, it was that arm talent that put the ball in the exact right spot to allow his guy to make the big play. On first down, Levis. That's to the former Jaguar and Falcon, Calvin Ridley. And the Titans are looking at a first and goal as he's taken down at the two-yard line. Mike, you've heard me say it a thousand times. The easiest down to throw the ball in the NFL is first down. I hate when teams wait till later in the possession to throw the ball. So 
early first down completion. You're on the plus side of the field. Now you're thinking strike. Touchdown, field goal. But either way, I'm coming away with points. From the one, second and goal. Again, they try Pollard. And he will not get to the goal line. In fact, he may have come back a little bit. And now it is third and goal. Down here this close, all it takes is one defensive lineman defeating his block and getting some penetration. And that's exactly what we saw here. Not only to stop the ball carrier short of the end zone, but to take him down for a loss. And he will take this one across into the end zone. Will Levis. Touchdown, Titans. Initially looking to throw it for the touchdown, couldn't find anything. So Greggy takes care of business himself, using his legs for the touchdown. Well, it was clear early on, Mike, that this defense was expecting the pass. And after matching all the receivers in the end zone, this quarterback realized quickly it was his legs that he was going to need to rely on to get the ball across the goal line. The veteran Nick Folk here for the extra point. The kick is good. And the Titans move back to within one. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. A return now from the four. And they'll bring him down just shy of the 30-yard line. The commander's offense and running back Austin Eckler are getting set for their next drive. They'll do so with first and ten. Here's Daniel, and he's going to run out of time. They get to him and bring him down. The Outland Trophy winner back in 2023, Mike, as the nation's top interior lineman, he's more well-known for his ability to stop the run. He is massive. He clogs run lanes and takes on those double teams. But as we saw here, he will flash some quickness when he's able to rush the passer. So after the loss on first, here's second and 14. Man in motion is Brown. They run this straight ahead with Eckler. And he'll be stacked up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Back to the drawing board for this run game, Mike. The offensive coordinator and his staff, they have to do a better job giving plays, giving opportunities to their offense to find success on the ground. Because right now, they have no answers for this defense. Third and long, and here's Daniels. Now a deep ball looking for Brown. A great connection there. They're going to bring it down inside the 35-yard line. Well, he certainly didn't look like a rookie on that long completion, Mike. Not only his ability to scan the field and find his favorable matchup, but he was able to hit his downfield target in the perfect spot that led to that big game. They'll come up here, first and ten. They'll go play action here with... Oh, they're on him in a flash, and he's lost the football. The Titans have got it. And he is going to bring this one back. They force the fumble, and it leads 
to a defensive score. And a mistake by the young quarterback in this defense gobbles it up and takes it in for the score. You know, Mike, unfortunately, this is sometimes just the reality of playing with a rookie quarterback behind center. You're going to get a lot of magic. You're going to get a lot of fun moments. But you're also going to get a little bit of this learning curve, understanding sometimes just it's better to live to play another day. Get the ball out of your hand. Don't take the hit. Don't take the sack. And definitely don't cough up the ball. Now, folks, on for the extra point. His kick is good. And the Titans will open up a six-point lead. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away very good kickoff returnable from the four and he's brought down right at the 25 yard line the commander's offense and their running back getting set for this next possession the deficit six points for a touchdown here would be mighty nice for the offense see what they can do on this drive first and ten Daniels now going to look to throw. This to the right side, but it's going to wind up incomplete. Seems like the quarterback was a little predetermined in his read. I think he decided even before seeing the coverage where that ball was going. Next time, read the coverage. Let the play unfold. Don't force something that's not there. Throwing on second down. Daniels. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. Just a great example of not only the anticipation, but the instincts to go break that pass up, Mike. You can see he's clearly looking at the quarterback's eyes. And once that ball was delivered, he's just attacking it and breaking it up. Well, can't afford another incompletion here. Quickly, it is third and ten. And this drive is over before it can start. He's swallowed up to force fourth down this is the epitome of team defense not only are you able to rush the passer and put relentless pressure on him play after play but the coverage on the back end is so tight there's just nowhere for the quarterback to go with the ball you see him just continue to hold the ball that extra second in the pocket and with the way these guys are pass rushing that's all the time they need here's Tress Way now as he'll punt it away for the second time That'll be returnable from the 35. And he'll get forward a few yards on the return. And that's where the offense will take over. The Titans offense ready to take over possession of the football. They work with a six-point advantage as they start this drive on first and ten. Levis to throw. Taking off. How about 25 yards to start the drive? First down. The challenge of defending a dual threat quarterback in the NFL, Mike, is that you just don't see them week in and week out, maybe like you do in college. So in this case, you defend everything perfectly downfield, but it's hard to account for a quarterback who can run. He escapes the pressure tucks it down himself and he picks up a big game so they come to the line for first down and 10 out of the shotgun Levis he's going to get it to Okonkwo 
And he'll be taken down as we tick down to the two-minute warning. A gain there of 11. First down for Tennessee. They'll send the tight end in motion right. On first and ten, here's Levis. The left side into the hands of Hopkins. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. These are the type of plays that drive a coach crazy in the film room and you have to learn as a quarterback to avoid. You can take some chances. You can push the ball downfield, but not only to pick up a couple yards. You got to pick your chances of when you want to be aggressive and you got to make sure you make better decisions going forward. That one taken in. DeAndre Hopkins. Touchdown, Tennessee. What separates the really good quarterbacks from everybody else in the National Football League, Mike, is not only ability to process, but the ability to process quickly under pressure. And I think that's exactly the case here. He's able to go through his progression, find his target in the end zone, and then deliver that ball on time, accurately, and the result is a touchdown. Folk now for the extra point. The kick is good. And the Titans add on one more as they extend their second quarter lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Rodriguez on the return. And their drive will begin at the 30-yard line. Here comes the Washington offense now. They get set to take over. The deficit is double digits, so work to do as they begin this drive with first and 10. Operating from the gun, it's Daniels. That pass taken in by McClure. That's his third catch of this first half and good enough for a first down. This is such a critical moment in the game, that middle four minutes, the final two minutes of the first half, and then the possession to come out of the halftime break. So maximizing this possession here before halftime is critical. See if you can get a drive starter. See if you can get an easy completion to kickstart a two-minute mode, and that's what they got here. Now they got to see if they can go down and steal some points. The commanders will signal for the first of their timeouts, and they'll stop it with exactly a minute to go in this first half. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second in inches. Throwing now, Daniels. A throw left side there, not gonna find the target. Incomplete. It's just a matter of time. I don't care how good you are or how good a hand you have, you are going to drop passes. It is inevitable in the NFL. But it's the guys that don't let one drop pass lead to two. They have the ability to put it behind them, move forward, and they can't wait for that next ball to be thrown their way. He'll look middle and he's got his man complete. First time these two have connected this afternoon, and it'll wind up being a first down. That last completion's gonna go a long way towards at least finishing this two-minute drive, Mike, with some points. 
you're already in field goal range. So now the idea is continue to work the clock down, take a couple shots at the end zone. You want to get points, ideally a touchdown, but either way, you have the ball last before the end of the second quarter. Uh, first down throw there is incomplete. I think the biggest issue and why they find themselves trailing in this game, Mike, has really just been the ups and downs of this passing game. At some times, he's highly accurate and efficient, but at others, he just misses too many easy throws. Question is, are they going to be able to overcome this quarterback inconsistency and pull this game out? And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. This pains me to say, Mike, because I love the idea of feeding the tight end, but you can only go his way so many times if it's not going to result in positive outcomes. So wouldn't be surprised to see him try to get his backs, his wide receivers, get some other guys involved, and then later in the game, go back to his big tight end. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Great pass rushers live for third down, especially when they know the offense has to be one-dimensional. And this is a great example here, Mike. They can just pin their ears back and go. They know there is no threat for run. It is a must-pass situation. And for this offense, they're lucky it didn't result in a sack. And that one, not going to have enough leg behind it. Not by a long shot. It is no good. And they do not cut into the deficit. From the 39, here's a first and 10. The tight end, Okonkwo, is in motion. Levis to throw on first and ten. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. They'll try again here. Second and ten. From the gun, it's Levis. That is caught. It is Hopkins. And now a timeout. Seven seconds left in this first half. Here's third and two. The tight end, Okonkwo, is in motion. From the gun, on third down, here's Levis. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. So the hope is your one-third down conversion from really jump-starting a possession that ultimately leads in points. But after that third down incompletion, kind of throws a wrench into those plans. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now. He's on for the second time. They'll try to get something inside the tent. So we hit halftime, and the team heading to the visiting locker room, the Titans, are on top as we get you down to Florida. Orlando, specifically. It's where the coach is, Jonathan Coachman, has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Mike, we'll take it from there as we welcome everyone into our EA Sports studios and our halftime report. Both of these offenses had their share of high points in that first half. Each team had some big moments, and it would seem this could turn out to be a game where the last score wins. All right, Coach. Thank you very much. We welcome you back. It is quarter number three. Third quarter set to commence. And we're back underway here on EA Sports. Rodriguez on the return. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. 
the commander's offense headed back to take over once more. And look, they've been out of sorts throughout, Greg. They haven't had any answer for this pass rush all game. Yeah, and it's really showing up in the sacks and also just in their ability to prevent any yards, any completions. This has just been a dominant pass defense performance here, and everything starts with the rush. The quarterback's uncomfortable. The clock gets sped up. He's got guys in his face. It's a lot easier to play defensive back and in some of these coverage units when you know that ball's got to come out fast. And right now, they're teeing off and taking advantage of it. And that one is closed down in the backfield. What a defensive play. Knifing in, dropping him for the loss. With how fast they were all over that play, you almost wonder, Mike, was there a pre-snap tell? Did they know that play was coming? Because I'll tell you, that defense was on it from the start. After the loss of three, it is second and 13. Working out of the gun, it's Daniels. Open man downfield is Brown. And they're going to move the ball all the way up to the 45-yard line. Zone route running, Mike, is very simple, right? I mean, everyone wants to complicate offensive football and make it super technical. Once you come off the line of scrimmage after the ball is snapped and you know it's zone coverage, as long as it's sort of in the area the quarterback expects you to be, my rule was just run where they're not and when he throws it, catch it. Here's a designed run. Boom! Trying to avoid tacklers there, but the ball is out. And it's recovered by one of his teammates. These are the opportunities that just kill defensive coordinators. You got the ball loose. You did everything you want. But now you got to recover it. You need better pursuit to the ball. More bodies around the ball carrier. Because when that ball pops out, You've got to be on it. These opportunities don't come around often, and when they do, you got to seize the moment. And this will be a short pickup down to the 45. Tavondre Sweat there on the tackle. Here's third down and a few inches. Oh, he's got a man. That's caught by Brown. And the defense can't come up with a stop there. Gain a seven and a first down. We hear the term RPO so often, Mike, and it continues to kind of trickle its way into the NFL. But remember, it's a lot different in the NFL than it is in the college game where it's a lot more prevalent. The lineman cannot go downfield. So that quarterback has to make a lot of really fast, snapshot decisions or else it's going to lead to a penalty or him holding on to the ball too long so it's something that teams want to implement but maybe not quite to the level that we see in the college game second down and three now here's a keeper on the zone read a pitch to Robinson and he'll be near the first down marker Let's call it a gain of three, but a short yardage situation coming up on third down. They'll try and run for the first with Eckler. Oh, big hole left side. And he's going to take this all the way home. Austin Eckler, touchdown Commanders. That is second touchdown of the afternoon. When you start talking about the qualities of a top tier back in the NFL, Mike, we all talk about size, speed, the ability to keep your feet, the ability to have balance at contact. But the part we don't talk enough about is patience, understanding the blocking scheme, the timing, when to hit the hole, as much as what hole to hit. And I think you get a great example of what that looks like when it all comes together. He takes advantage of the scheme, and next thing you know, he hits his head on the goalpost. York, good on the extra point. And the Commanders are back within six.
The kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. Spears now to return it. And a decent return there. He'll get this up just shy of the 30. The Titans offense getting ready for their opening possession of this second half. They'll begin with first and 10. Levis. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. I got high standards for offensive players, but in this case, Mike, I think I'm giving all the credit to the defender. He timed that one up perfectly, and what could have been an easy play ends up as an incomplete. A second down throw here for Levis. Open man is Hopkins. Third and long. Hopkins sent in motion. Throwing now on third and long. And he'll be stopped short of a first down, and that will necessitate a call to the punt team. It's fourth down. When you throw the ball short of the sticks on third down, you're relying heavily on the yards after the catch. So give credit to the defense here. Once the ball carrier had the ball, multiple guys around him, corralled him, take him down short of the sticks. And good coverage by the punt team. They stop him before he can get any return cranked up. The home team's offense, and they're running back getting ready to go back to work. And as we look at the highlights, you see it's been tough to stop him here today. Couple of touchdowns in this ball game. He has, without a doubt, been the driving force in this offense so far. Here's first and ten. The drive starts with a carry by Eckler. And he'll have a commander's first down as he gets this up to the 28-yard line. Remember this one thing, Mike. It is not how well or how often you run the ball in the NFL. It's when do you run the ball well in the NFL. And I think that's what a lot of these offensive play callers are starting to realize. Can you run the ball well in critical moments of the game? More important than how many gross yards you run for. That's taken in by Brown. the play fake here's Daniels and this offensive line just has no answers right now it's another sack if they win this game this pass rush is going to be a big reason why the five sacks speak for itself but their ability to disrupt the timing of this offense that can't be overstated they'll come up to third and three. From the shotgun, it's Daniel. He's got a man, it's McClure. A pickup of 15 in the air. First down, Washington. These crossing concepts are frequently used, Mike, throughout the entire game, 
all across the league. And what it does is it creates a lot of natural rubs. You run out the backside of the defense and rely heavily on the yards after the catch. And it's exactly how they're able to pick up this big game. To throw is Daniels on first and 10. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. The drag route is certainly not the most complicated route on the route tree, but a really nice job there using the scheme to create separation. He did a really nice job there working across the middle of the field as he made himself open. On first down, Daniel. Oh, and a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass he say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. Dropping a catchable ball is one of the worst feelings. It feels like the entire stadium is laughing at you, and all I know is firsthand, you just want to get another opportunity to put that one behind you. To the air again is Daniel. He'll be hit as he throws this time, and it's going to fall incomplete. And he might be fortunate just to avoid the sack, and it'll set up a third down. All these defensive linemen, I promise you, they all want sacks. That is how you get paid. That is how you make your name. But it's also the other plays where you can affect the quarterback. Can you make them feel uncomfortable? Or in this case, you don't get the sack, but it was the hit that's able to alter the pass to fall incomplete. And that's a great job defensively here on third down. Not only taking away all the options down the field through the air, but when the quarterback decides to turn into a runner himself, they're able to converge and make the play and keep him short of the first down. Now Dan Quinn will send out the field goal unit. This is going to be from 53 yards out. And this is no good. Could not get it on target. And they are not able to draw closer. And this is the danger of trying these long field goals. Remember, Mike, if you miss, the other team gets the ball at the spot of the kick. So it's going to end up setting them up for great field position as they start this next drive. First and ten. Levis to throw. Looking middle, and he's got Ridley. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. They'll come up now for second down and four. Now, Levis. He'll again get it to Ridley. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. You can see this connection is just starting really to pick up. They're seeing the game through the same set of eyes, and that is the job of the receiver. What is my quarterback expecting from me? Where does he want me? Be there on time and it leads to big games like this. They go play action with Levis to the left side in the hands of Bull. And they're going to be set up in the red zone. They've got it inside the 15. So the best thing this wide receiver is able to do here, Mike, on this crossing route is once he gets the ball in his hands, he's able to put his foot in the ground and get vertical. So often you see these guys get strung out sideline to sideline, and they're not able to pick up big yards after the catch. So really nice job here, and it leads to a big game. On the move at the 14-yard line, it's first and 10. Out of the shotgun, Levis. Right back to Boyd. He's got it again. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. Second and a yard. The left side into the hands of Hopkins. And he's in 
into the end zone for a touchdown. There is a marker down, but I think this score is going to hold up. Levis will bring the Titans to the line, looking for two. He'll drop to throw. That's going to be incomplete. That would have been a tough grab. The collision jarred it loose. The try for two is unsuccessful. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. A safe kick taken at the five. And he'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. Here comes the number two overall pick, Jaden Daniels, with the rest of the commander's offense. And he's had it going in the first half. Really had his way with the secondary. They have been powerless to stop him. Now, we're going to try to keep it going. Set to go now on first and ten. They'll run to begin the drive with Eckler. Trying to bounce that outside. It went a long way for a gain of nothing. We've seen this back have his way with this defense all game long, Mike. He's up over 100 yards for the game, but this time the defense said, we've had enough. They sold out to stop him. They hold him to no game. They run it once more with Eckler. He'll dodge one would-be tackler and wind up getting a nice gain of six on the play. Here's a third down and four. On play action, Daniels. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. Daniels now on first down. Over the middle. He's got McClurin. And they're going to get this ball down to the 20 yard line. So, three quarters now in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. On first and ten, here's Daniel. That's to the rookie's second-round pick, Ben Sinnott. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. Here's second and two. Play action. Here's Daniels. That's over the middle and intercepted. And the Titans will take over at their own 15. 
These second half red zone opportunities are critical, Mike. I mean, you're not gonna score every single time you get down here, but it feels like at this point in the game, this might be my last chance to get this deep. You've gotta make the most of those limited opportunities. At least come away with three, you're hoping for six, but in this case, you come away with zero. The Titans offense back onto the field for their next possession. They built a nice lead for themselves here. They'll try to add to that, beginning with first down. They'll give it to Pollard to start this drive. And a good one here. He'll be marked down up past the 25-yard line. Two-possession lead, fourth quarter. This is the time, Mike, when you really can rely heavily on your run game. Everybody in the stadium knows you're going to run it, including the defense. They just can't come up with an answer to stopping it. Levis to throw on first and 10. Complete Ridley on the reception. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. They'll come to the line now on second and two. Hopkins sent in motion. On second down, Levis. He'll look for Pollard out of the backfield. And he'll be taken down after a gain of three, but that is good enough for a first down. We're starting to see this so often, Mike. The days of just having a running back who you're just going to turn around and hand it to, yes, that's still a critical part of NFL offensive football, but their ability to be used in the passing game, just one more thing for the defense to have to defend, make them go sideline to sideline, line of scrimmage to the end zone, defend every blade of grass in a really good running back, Goes a long way in doing that. Give him 14 on that one. That's good for a Titan first down. An interesting decision there by the play caller to put this ball in the air. Mike, you're up by two scores. Traditional wisdom says, hey, we're up by two scores late in the fourth quarter. We've got to keep this clock moving. You don't want to risk an incompletion. Now, they convert. They're able to secure the catch and pick up a fresh set of downs. That's going to enable them to continue to burn more clock. And without a stop, their opponent's not going to get the ball back. And this game almost just flipped completely on his head. You find yourself with a lead just trying to milk the clock away in the fourth quarter. And that's a gift. I mean, that defender just flat out drops the ball. And if he's able to secure that takeaway, this game looks very different for this offense. Quarterback does a nice job here sensing the pressure pretty quickly. Realizes he doesn't have a ton of time to operate from within the pocket. Decides to tuck the ball and rely on his legs. He's able to pick up a positive play. This defense in desperate need of a stop. And here comes third down. From the gun, it's Levis. And that is incomplete. The pass protection's been a little bit shaky at times, and that was the case there. And even though they're not going to go down for allowing a sack, it was allowing the pressure that ultimately prevented that pass from being completed. The offense staying out there for this fourth down. They'll go. Here's Levis. That's taken in. And he's going to have a Titans first down. They needed four. They got eight and it results in a new set of downs. Offensively landing a lot of body blows on this drive, Mike. Just the ability to steadily march the ball downfield and remain so efficient, both run and pass. As they continue to wear this defense out, they have to find a way to end this drive with points. Anything short of that would be a bit of a letdown. And he'll bring this inside the 30, a gain of about five. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. Mm. 
He's going to get it to Okonkwo. And it'll be a short pickup. That's not enough for the first down. This would go a long way to sealing this one. Third and a yard. They'll try and run for the first down with Pollard. They'll put him down right at the 20, but they'll also move the sticks. That is a first down picked up. Really just the same approach that an offense would take on a quarterback sneak, Mike. You don't necessarily have to spring him for a huge gain. Can you buy just enough space up front to pick up one yard? That's exactly what they did. Pick up the first down. On play action, here's Levis. A very quick throw there, but not on the same page with his target. That's incomplete. We'll try again. It's second and ten. To throw is Levis. Open man, he's got Boyd. And the Titans are going to have a first and goal coming up as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Big time completion right there. And this isn't just a spot where they're trying to run the game out here in the fourth quarter. They were not only trying to pick up points, but they're trying to get in the end zone and extend this lead. So really nice job here late. We're going to see if they can put this one out of reach. Here's a chance to put this game away. First down and goal. Now this looks like a design run. And he'll punch forward to the two. Setting up second and goal. Down in the red zone, design quarterback runs are a handful for defenses to account for. But in this case, give him credit. Not a lot of room to maneuver here for the quarterback. And they keep it to a short game. A second down throw here for Levis. And that is caught in the end zone. He's in. DeAndre Hopkins. Touchdown, Titans. That is his third touchdown of the afternoon. Greg, that's one of those scores where it's not completely over, but it's getting to be about that time. Yeah, Mike, I just think they're entering miracle stage right now, and I just don't think there's any coming back from this deficit. Now, Folk, on for the extra point. He's got it. And the Titans will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. This taken at the five. And this will work out quite well. He'll get it all the way out to the 30-yard line. The home team's offense and Jaden Daniels ready to take over once more. And he has had all sorts of trouble in this one. Your quarterback has to take care of the ball, and he has not. Turning it over in the air turning it over as a fumbler. You just cannot win football games in this league when the quarterback's given the defense the ball. And that's what he's done in this one. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and 10. Working out of the gun, it's Daniel. He runs with it. Terrific starter there. Gain of 15 and a first down. We've seen this quarterback have some effective plays with his legs all game today, Mike. He knows when to stay in there and look to pass. 
but he also knows when it's time to tuck it and go, and he's able to pick up good yardage there. Now Daniels throwing on first and ten. Now they'll set up the screen to Eckler. Good pickup of 16 on that screenplay and a first down. It's been tough sledding for this offense all day today, Mike, but especially here in the second half. So they are just in desperate need of a spark, just something to get their offense into a little bit of a rhythm if they want to have any chance to find themselves back into this game here late. To throw is Daniels on first and 10. That's McLaurin open on the left side. And they'll move this ball way down into the red zone, inside the 20-yard line. Ball down to the 16-yard line, and it's first and 10. The motion man here is McClure. Off the play fake, here's Daniels. And he's going to go down yet again. He has been under fire all game long. So after surrendering their sixth sack of the game, I looked down on the sideline, Mike, and found their offensive line coach. He grabbed his headset, removed it, and he slammed it on the ground. And truthfully, I don't blame him. His unit has been getting worked up front all day in pass protection. They'll go play action here with Daniels. And he'll take it on in. Touchdown, Washington. Well, Greg, the light's still on way down at the end of the tunnel here. They are climbing back into this one with that touchdown here in the fourth quarter. And they have a tall task ahead of them, Mike, but they have a chance. I mean, we've seen stranger things happen. Hmm. They got a two-possession game here late. They're going to need a couple stops, and they're going to need a couple things to bounce their way. York now for the extra point. It's up and good. And the Commanders are able to edge a bit closer. Both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. The return starts from the five. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The visitor's offense and quarterback Will Levis ready for their next possession. And we show you some of the highlights, and there have been plenty to choose from. Three touchdown passes and some other big-time throws as well. Certainly dialed in and on top of his game right throughout this one. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and ten. Here's Levis. To the left side, caught by Ridley. And they'll bring him down, but not until he gets to the 38-yard line. So often we see a team that's milking a two-score lead get very conservative, especially in the fourth quarter, but not this coach. He says, all right, I might have a two-score lead. I want to make it three. He's trying to put as much pressure on his opponent possible here down the stretch late. Oh, they are on him in a flash, and he's lost the football. And there it is. The defense comes up with the big play, forcing the fumble as they get their offense right back on the field. Coming up, Greg, with a big turnover. Taking the ball away, Mike, has really become an art form in the NFL. Some teams are good at it, some teams not so much. But in this case, great job by the defense taking that one away. The commander's offense ready to see what they can do with this next possession. 
They can get back into this quickly now. Very short field ahead. It is first and ten. From the shotgun, it's Daniels. That is brought in at the 10. And he is going to be out of bounds. That is a gain of 20. And what a chance now. First and goal coming up. And this is what the offense needed. Now, after that last completion, you still trail here in the fourth quarter. You need scores, and you need scores fast. So they cannot take their time. I wouldn't be surprised to get them right back up on the line of scrimmage and try to score here now that it's... And he will score! Game on! Jaden Daniels! Touchdown, Commander! Greg, they are pecking away at this one now. Very big touchdown. Gets them right within reach of pulling this comeback off. Well, Mike, at the very least, they've given themselves a chance. But can they get a stop and get the ball back again for a chance to go down and really make this one interesting? Now it's York for the PAT. He's got it. And the Commanders have cut the deficit to five. So, things a little more interesting now. Back to a one-score game as they kick it away. He'll start at the four. Oh, he's got room past the 30. And not much doing on this return. Good coverage. I'm going to stop him in his tracks right at the 15-yard line. DeAndre Hopkins and the Titan offense getting ready to get back to work. The lead is five as they're going to start with this first down. The tight end, Okonkwo, is in motion. On first down, Levis. Oh, they got the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Those simple routes over the middle, Mike. Well, to the quarterback, they're not always so simple. I'll tell you why. There's a lot of bodies in the middle of the field. There's a lot of traffic. Those windows are hard to navigate the ball through safely. So what happens? Well, you saw it there. It's a prime area for throws to be intercepted. Austin Eckler and the rest of the commander's offense back out onto the field. They'll start with a golden opportunity here to move out in front. Great field position to start out. It's first and ten. Operating from the gun, it's Daniels. That one intercepted. Picked off by Gina Bayouzie. And the Titans are going to get the football at their own 40. I think you chalk this one up, Mike, to just a rookie mistake. And anytime you have a young signal caller behind center, you're going to have to deal with some of these ups and downs. Every once in a while, they're just not going to see the coverage. They're going to get baited into making a bad throw. That's kind of par for the course. The key is, how fast can these rookie quarterbacks turn the page, move on, and not make the same mistake again? The Titans offense and the veteran DeAndre Hopkins ready to take over once more. They'll see if they can put something together here, beginning with first and ten. Hopkins sent in motion. On first and ten, here's Levis. 
That's caught right side. It's Hopkins. And he's not going to get too far tackled after a gain of just a yard. When a defense has speed to the ball like this group does, it makes these wide receiver screens really challenging because all those fast linebackers and defensive backs that are chasing the ball carrier, the offensive line are the ones responsible for them, and sometimes that's just a speed mismatch, and they can't get out in front. Up the middle, here comes Pollard, and he is crushed in the backfield. Defenders firing through. Shut it down right away for a loss of yardage. So, two minutes to play here in the second half. Greg and I back for the conclusion in a moment. On third down, here's Pollard. So, right out of the two-minute break, we get a timeout used by the defense with a minute 56 to go. The Titans sending out their punt as they try to play the field position game here, protecting a fourth quarter lead. The commander's offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been successful. He just processes things so quickly making the right read seemingly every time. They'll come up for first and ten. They'll drop to throw. That's out to Brown, right side, complete. And they'll mark him down up beyond the 30. All right, this is a good start. Plays like these are definitely going to help as you work your way into scoring range. While you have to be wary of the clock and keep an eye on it, they should have plenty of time here to finish this drive. On first down, Daniel. He's going to keep it himself. They'll mark him down up at the 44-yard line. Now a timeout here by Washington. That is their second. And they'll have a chance to talk things over after picking up that first down. Throwing is Daniels. They go sideline and he stays in bounds. Got the feet down in time. It's a first down. They continue to roll, continue to move the chains. That was a gain of 15. Throwing with anticipation, it not only requires the confidence in both your accuracy and the timing, but it also forces the receiver to be on time and where the quarterback expects you to be. And this is one of those examples, man. When those two things are on point, it results in a first down. That's over the middle, complete to Brown. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. This is what every offense looks to do, Mike. They want to attack the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. And oftentimes, that's where the chunk plays come. Give it to your receiver on the move and let them do the rest. And that is incomplete. All right, so this is why you get paid the big bucks. These are the possessions as a quarterback you need to deliver for your team. Everybody talks about two minute. Everybody drills it every single week. But when it comes down to this moment in the game, your quarterback needs to be on point. And after that first down incompletion, it just makes things that much harder. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. In what's clearly become a passing league, Mike, if you're not actively rushing the passer, you have to be able to hold up in coverage, and that's especially true at the linebacker position. Great job here getting in those passing lanes and being able to break up that ball. On third down, they'll throw with Daniels. Oh, he's got a man. That's caught by Brown. 
and they are in great shape. He's taken down inside the 10. Here is first and goal. Daniels going to throw again. And he'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Nice example there, Mike, of the quarterback just being smart with the ball, understanding it didn't quite develop the way he had intended. Throw that ball out of harm's way, live to play another down. So the ball still at the eight-yard line for second down and goal. Eckler. And this is a touchdown. They were not going to be denied. And they have taken the lead here in the final minute of play. And make it a hat trick. That is his third rushing touchdown of the game. A big reason his team is on top. And so far, Mike, this run game has been the difference. And we're going to see in the second half. Now, can they protect this lead? Because, Mike, that's where a run game has its most value. And so far, this guy's been incredible. That's going to be caught. They get the two points. Man, this could turn out to be important. The lead goes to three here in the fourth quarter. So the kickoff team out there one final time in the final minute as they kick it away. Spears now to return it. The visitors offense and the wide out getting set to go once more. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides as this drive kicks off with first and ten. From the gun, it's Levis. And he's not going to be able to get away. Very good coverage on the perimeter. It goes down as a loss of yards. Here's second down. Out of the shotgun, Levis. And is caught by the man wearing zero, Calvin Ridley. And that'll go for a gain of seven. And it's going to set up third down. Throwing is Levis. He's got his man. That's four. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. So now the veteran, Nick Folk, with an important kick. This to force overtime. 
He banged this one, and he's got it! Gets it from long distance. And we are almost certainly bound for overtime. Final seconds here, overtime looming on the horizon as they kick it off. This kick is fielded in the end zone, but no move to bring it out. It's touchback, and that ball will come out to the 30-yard line. Here's first and ten. Here we go. One final play. Now pass deep for McLaurin. And that's going to be incomplete. They took one last chance here in regulation. It does not pan out. And we are headed to overtime. Four quarters could not determine a winner. We get back underway here in overtime. Spears now to return it. And they'll get this up past the 20, and that's where they'll set up shot. Out comes the Tennessee offense. They get set to see what they can do. They'll do so with first and 10. Levis to throw. This one complete to Ridley. And he'll be taken down all the way up past the 45. Now this is the epitome of a really short throw and a really nice run after catch. And listen, for a quarterback, it all counts the same. You don't always have to throw the ball downfield to generate explosive plays. And these drag routes can be very, very effective. They'll come up here, first and ten. Contact up front. Did they get one of the defenders to jump? So, a lot of options on the table now. It's first and five. Pollard. And he's not going to get away. They'll knock him back to his own territory. They get him on the other side of midfield. Well, if you're going to run the ball in the middle of this defensive line, you better block the big man in the middle, Mike. What a great job not only defeating his blocks, but being able to penetrate enough to take the ball carrier down for a loss. That is a great play by the big man inside. They'll run once more, and it's Pollard again. He'll get about three. And that's going to lead to third down. Here's a third down and four. Levis. 
Looking for room out on the edge. You're not going to find it. As a matter of fact, I think they tracked him down behind the line of scrimmage. Good job by the defense, and it's fourth down. Anytime it's third and short, you better account for the running back out of the backfield, and that's exactly what they do here. Great job by the defense taking him down for a loss. Brings up fourth down. The Titans punching unit comes out to the field. And he's on for a big one here in overtime. The commander's offense ready to come back out for this next possession. They'll try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and ten. the handoff this is Eckler and he'll get this past the 25 out to the 27 a pickup of seven second down and three play action here's Daniels he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. This is why it's so critical that the quarterback and his intended target are on the same page. They got to speak the same language. When there's miscommunication, it leads to errant throws. And when errant throws lead to big missed opportunities. And that is incomplete. That's one of those plays where you come off the field, Mike, and you're getting a lot of high fives. Hey, good job. But then that secondary's coach pulls you over to the side and says, hey, nice play. But next time, let's come away with the pick. The commander's about to send this one away. This fielded inside the 35. And it'll be brought down. Short return. And they'll take over there. The Titans offense ready to get back at it. They'll start it here with a first and ten. The motion man is Boyd. The drive starts. It's a carry by Pollard. And nothing on that one back to the line of scrimmage. And that is it. A corner who is not only a good tackler, Mike, but a willing tackler can be a huge asset to any defense. So often they get a bad rap. They're considered just pass defenders. They want to run around. But for a guy to be able to come up and force the run and keep this to no gain, man, that makes a big difference on any defense. He'll get this out quickly to his left. And no place to go, no place to hide. He's taken down behind the line. Third and long. Now, Levis. He'll get this into the hands of Ridley, complete. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. So they come to the line for first down and ten. To throw is Levis. The left side into the hands of Hopkins. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. Just take what the defense is giving you. And you can stay ahead of the chains and just take these easy pitch and catch throws underneath. Hitch routes, quick game. Now it puts you in a lot more favorable down and distances. 
to eventually attack this defense a little bit more downfield. This one intercepted. Picked off by the former Wolverine, the rookie from Michigan. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the goal line. Nearly a pick six, but he does set up the offense with first and goals. So often, Mike, defenders are just happy the ball ends up in his hands, but not this guy. I mean, the catch was one thing, but then the party really got started. I mean, look at this return. He gets one block. He gets another. He's got teammates springing him all over the field. And this offense is lucky. This didn't go all the way back for a pick six. Here comes the Washington offense now. They get set to take over. And what a turn of events here in overtime. We'll see how they play out. First and goal with a chance to win this game. So now, a big spot coming here. This one to win it in overtime. Here's a timeout, Tennessee. It'll be their second. So now, out comes the field goal unit in this pressure spot. This one, he's got to have. This kick is good. He got it. It took overtime, but they will walk off the field with the victory. So it's a win here for the Commanders. This was a close-fought game. They were able to get themselves into field goal range here at OT. The final kick sailed through the uprights to finally close out this victory. So that'll just about do it for Greg Olson and our entire team. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Commanders are winners. As we say so long from just outside our nation's capital.